Thank you, George. But one thing, with York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise me, you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. <laughs> Let's get rolling, then. Okay. I'm counting on you, Willie. Am I gonna... Oh, not counting on me, though, are you? Sheesh. Ah, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Are you gonna play as her and... Well, that answered the question. Listen to that music! <laughs> The only reason I asked was because, uh, I don't know if you played L.A. Noir, but they did the same thing, they kind of did a character change. How come that fat guy's running as fast as me? I mean, I'm fucking hotter. Anyways, I'm playing L.A. Noir, and, uh, the thing about that game is, you, you kind of do like a, this is a spoiler, I guess you can say. They do like a character change through the story, and I thought it was a nice change of pace, but I didn't really, I wasn't too fond of it. Get the fuck out of my way, fat guy. Oh my goodness, dude. get the fuck out of here, no! I hate you, get your fat ass over here. I got a McRib! Damn it, didn't work. Man, McRibs. I hate to say it, but they're actually pretty good. <laughs> Am I catching up? No, I'm not. No. Are you gonna turn to the right? You're gonna turn to the right, aren't you? How do I know? Well, there you're gonna turn. Guess not. This is kind of pointless. This is fun! But I feel like you're just gonna lead us to the same spot from the very beginning. Thought it was gonna turn. Oh, okay, cool. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. He was a beagle, so we named him Bee. <laughs> Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My worries just faded away when he did that. It made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. Dogs are great that way. Oh yeah, sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why, they'll just carry on, regardless. They see everything, you know. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kaysen. Oh, look, Deputy Willie's calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase. I'm a little confused. Get the fuck back out of there. Fuck you, Kason. No, I said fuck you, Kason. Yeah. 
Push me. Oh. <laughs> I was just trying to do the lazy one. Look, I don't understand. It has like the indicator to. What the fuck? No, 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 no. We going in here? The heck am I looking? Oh, I'm York. Why, thank you, York. You're so kind. Unlike him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas, a long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about and Both pretty much at the same time. And since then... Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Thomas, considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Mm -hmm. It's the same uh, animation as anyone else. Okay. Run! Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm kind of at the point where I want to finish this tonight, but I know, I know I'm not going to be able to finish it tonight. And if I do, I'm going to have to upload like four, five, six, seven videos. And I don't want to do that. Considering the last video I just recorded was 20 minutes. Oh, now they give me a freaking save point. Thank you. After 20 minutes to give me a save point. I was hoping that after 10, but you know, because I'm trying to get my videos to 15 minutes, and I still have five minutes left of the of the last recording that I got that I'm gonna put together, which you probably already noticed by now. Hurry up, dog, move. So if that's five, 20, that's 25. I gotta get at least another another five minutes. Plus 15, I guess 20 minutes would do it. Another 20 and I'm, I'm good. What's for. wrong? Something's bothering you. Oh no, it's just... Today, I tomorrow. I promised to have tea with, with Paul. I just remember. What's that got to do with anything? Yep, you're right. This just isn't the time, I know. But it's... Well, she reminds me of my mother who passed away. Kason. I've been a salesman for a long, long time. I never had time to talk with my mother, you know. Sales, they were the thing for me. No matter what happened, this was more important. So even when she was sick, I put more energy into my work, which I regret now. And you know, when I heard she died, I was, I was on my way home, all happy. I closed a big deal in Jersey. Just when you want to give something back, you got no one to give it back to. Well, that, that's when I met her, Polly. I thought heaven had given me another chance. I really did. So I always stay in that hotel whenever I come up here. Oh, sure, the rooms are great, but, but in all honesty, I go there because I want to talk with Polly. Does Polly know all this? No, no way. I'd never say anything so embarrassing to her. She'd think I've got some crazy mother complex or something. Right, let's get going. Deputy Willie disapproves of any chit-chat. I'll make it up to Polly some other time, I guess. 
<sighs> I'm so fucking confused on the those little storytelling ability crap that they got going on. This is honestly just a waste of time. Are you gonna give me another? Yep. So confused, what am I supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> Okay, my bad. <laughs> my my sister was asking me what movie they're showing on TV, and they're showing Fast Times at Richmond High. That movie's cool. I like it. It's a fun movie. It's not a great movie when it comes to like a, a story or something like that. Like it is a good movie, but it's no, it's not as good as uh, the Breakfast Club, which I didn't like at all. I didn't like it. I guess because I didn't spend enough time to watch it, but still. Uh, let me get us another story by Kaysen. Am I correct? Yep. It's only a hunch now, but I don't think Nick killed him. What do you mean? Me and Diane, we were, you know, pretty close. I'm sure some people might have moral issues about it all, but I'd like to think that I knew her pretty well. Every time we, we finished talking, she'd bring up art. I'd make a face, you know, boring. And she'd always say, you're so different from Nick. He's so much more intelligent. Sounds like something she'd say. Nick was one of the few people who she could talk to, you know. And vice versa for Nick, I suppose. Diane also told me that she was best friends with Nick. He had nothing at all to gain by killing her. But even the best of friends can end up in the worst fights. Still, the voices and footsteps I heard that night, they were something else. Much more violent, more, more Can we just move on with the fucking game? Sounded different too. Different. Hard I'm really pissed off. I just, I... Well, I couldn't make out what she was saying. If they had eliminated chasing course, after the I dog, I wouldn't mind what watching these. I know, that's fine. Something like that. Fuck you, dog! You ain't taking us anywhere. Let's go then and catch Diane's killer. Well, maybe it's you, fat ass. Maybe it's you. <laughs> Look, if they eliminated the whole chasing after the dog thing, why are you squatting? Why were you squatting? You had to take a dump right there. What? I don't understand it. Why do you gotta run after the dog? Couldn't you have made a... There, it's really pointless because no matter what, you're gonna go from point A to point B through a cutscene or something like that. You should've just fast forward through this part, leaving the player not the ability to play this. And just hearing the cutscene, they're watching it. I mean, Metal Gear Solid does it. I don't know why this game had to do it. We wanna give you the full experience. No, no. Oh, please, no. Not another one. You better not be 